Hey, Joy Blue here, and today I want to tell you how to get data from an HTML or, or web page table into SQL Server. And I ran across a little uh, question I was going through Yahoo Answers, and a person was having troubles with a subquery, and they referenced this uh, website over here, uh, SQLZoo.net. Kind of looks interesting. I've never really been there before, but and they the question that they asked has to do with a table that you can query from right on screen here and so here's the table and you can see that it's got quite a few rows and I wanted to actually bring this in the SQL Server so I could query it there so let me show you how to do that and the first thing we need to do is create a little table to put this in and so the table needs a year a subject and a winner column and so let's go ahead and do that and I've already created a little script here so we have a year subject and a winner so let's go ahead and create that and I have already created it once so let me drop that real quick and let's uh, run that again so now I've got the table here and let's do a quick select so we know it's empty okay it's empty now here's the little secret that I want to show you if you come over here to the actual table and you right click it and say edit the top 200 rows you get a chance to actually enter data now let's go back over to the website and I'm just gonna copy this table so let's keep going down till I get to the end there we go and I will copy it and I'll head back over and here's the trick you you need to click on the actual row here you can't click in the data and you click on the row so the whole thing highlights and then I'll right click over there and say paste and there's all your data so it's that simple to go get a table in the in the web from web page in HTML and just paste it right in now I don't know how well this will work with large data and we only have 50 rows here so it wasn't that bad um, so this is a real easy way to um, get yourself some data to practice if you need to practice um, and you just copy and paste it right in there so as always if you find this helpful please leave a comment below click the like button or subscribe to my channel you can also visit me at sqltrainingonline.com and I hope you enjoyed this free video